I want my shit to sound like an acid trip. I would make a folder called acid trip. How's your library organization, Luke? Better than it's ever been and plenty of room for improvement. Cool. <laughs> I found like once you have those standard folders, I've started making like more, not obscure, but more like unconventional sort of stuff. So like once I have like my drums folders and all that kind of stuff, I've started thinking more in terms of like feels or moods or like types of sound, like zaps. And I'll just throw in anything remotely lasery or zappy just because I like that texture. And then there might be a texture of like, uh metallic or something and so that folder is just filled with that kind of stuff and so you sort of have like dylan's idea of a sparks folder but the sparks could be anything from like a sample to a drum to a effects to a foley to an ambience but it all like needs to have this characteristic and um one thing i did with the tesco brand and as i'm thinking moving forward with this project I'm going to do again because it was so useful, but writing down a few words to describe your sound, you could describe it by genre if you want. And that's a perfectly good folder to have. If you're like, my sound is very core influenced by house, let's say it's worth having a house folder. But if you're like, man, I like, I want my shit to sound like an acid trip. I would make a folder called acid trip and throw in like any effects racks or samples or anything that remotely remind you of an acid trip and start thinking in more like abstract creative terms. Yeah. I like that a lot. I definitely have found that organizing my library, not by what it is by, but by how I use it has been, was like a revolutionary thing for me like a few years ago, but I, I've had it mostly the same since then. I mean, I've updated it and added, you know, different categories, but I haven't really thought of revamping it in that kind of oblique way where it's like metallic things and like broken things and like spinny things or just like coming up with weird categories for mm -hmm. the sounds. And then like, because that'll like, you could use a spinny thing in every genre imaginable, but if you're not thinking of things as like trap horns or whatever, you right. know, you're, and you're like, just like, oh, let me add this weird palette of sounds with this weird palette of sounds. You're like less likely to come up with a combination that you've done your before yourself or that other people are doing a lot. I like it. <laughs>